Hey, hey, welcome back to the SC100 course. My name is Kieran Tross, and we are going to look at managed identities a little bit more in this video. So I am going to be going through managed identities, perhaps, you know, a couple of more videos in this course. This one is focused on managed identities, but you will see how we can uh, set up managed identities with different things like uh, when we get to blueprints and other um, uh, services within this uh, course. Managed identities is a very uh, important part of uh, the Azure environment because you're going to need service accounts to do certain things and complete certain tasks. So with this one, I'm going to show you how you can create a managed identity. We're going to associate the managed identity with a logic app. And then finally, we are going to allow the managed identity to have rights to a key vault um, in case you need to do some calls or something like that. But I just want to show you exactly how a managed identity works. So first, uh, you come up here and you type in managed identity. I already have it here because it's something I recently did. And then once managed identity comes up, and it populates, you will see all your managed identities. So you probably do not have any managed identities like me. I'm gonna create a managed identity. So I am going to go ahead and go RGECUS. And what we're doing is this is a user assigned managed identity because you're creating it. A system assigned managed identity is a little bit different and I'll show you how that looks. So I'm gonna so shared logic app and I'll leave it as that because we're gonna use this for our logic app so we can get some uh, information from a key vault and I'm going to create that manage identity. All right, so we have our um, manage identity. You can see here, share logic app. The next thing we're gonna do, is I'm gonna go here to my logic app. I'm gonna click on my logic app and I'm going to look for identity. Right here is identity. Once I get into identity, what I can do, and you see here is a system assigned. If I were to do a system assign, right, it already has it here. So it's already on. I could turn this off if I wanted to, and this is how it would show up. So let's let's go to another tab. I'm gonna go to Key Vault. I'm gonna click on my Key Vault. And here I'm gonna go into I am. And what I'm doing is I need to give the I manage identity access to my key vault, but I wanna show you something before I go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click up to his add, I'm gonna add role assignment, and I need to choose my role. So the role that I wanna do is, this is something that you know a lot of folks do, it's a secrets role for key vaults, cause you have your secrets there as well. So I'm just gonna go secrets user, which is fine. And here is an option for a manage identity. Now, if I click on manage identity and I click select members, it's going to look for the manage identity. And you see right here, it says user assigned manage identity. Then it also gives me some other stuff for system assigned manage identity. So right here, it says logic app standard because it's referring to this identity here, right? This is a standard logic app standard. That's why it says logic app right here. But then over here, it has a user assigned manage identity because that's the one that we just created. So I want you to understand that. So over here, I it already has a system assigned, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to user assigned and I'm gonna click yes, and I'm gonna add a user assigned one. And then here is the shared logic app one right here um, that I can use for my manage identity. Now I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna go to portal. This is our, Manage identity name, shared logic app. And that's why it's coming up, sorry. That's why it's coming up over here is because this is one of the ones that we have. So I'm gonna click on add. And then now this one has a user assigned managed identity and it's not using this one. So I can take this off as well and I can just click save. Disabling the system assigned managed identity for MG Log app may result in service failures. This step is irreversible. If you re-enable the identity in the future, Azure will create a new identity. Because remember, the system assigned one is just a little different. So I'm gonna click on yes. And now we only have a user assigned. If you notice that service principle is gone and there was an ID there that was associated with it. If I turn it back on and I click save, and I do a refresh, 
the principal ID changed. This is a different principal ID than what was there before because it removed it. So just so you know, it comes up with these, you know, uh, these random characters for a principal ID for your managed identity. So I'm still here with my shared uh, principal identity. And over here, I can do my role assignment. So I already have it with my Logic app. I've already given it access. Now over here, I can now come back over here to this user assigned managed identity and you see how it populates the shared app. Now, sometimes it gets a little confusing because you'll see user assigned managed identity and you're like, okay, well, which one is it? It can show up a, a multiple of them. But when you click through it, you'll see that it will show up with the name that you need. Or I can easily go to this Logic App Standard one, which is a system assigned one, and it gives me my Logic App test because it already knows it's a system assigned one that's already here. So I normally do the, this way where the Logic App already has a system assigned managed identity with it, and I will go here instead of doing the user assigned. But the thing is, I just wanted to show you all that you have the option of doing either or. And then when you give it the rights, you're given that identity to run in your environment to do and perform a specific task, whatever task that may be. In our case, this Logic app has an identity associated with it and it needs rights to now look at a key vault and pull some information from a key vault and perhaps send it somewhere else. It's working as an intermediary, but the only way the key vault would give it access is if you give the managed identity associated with the Logic app. That's one of the reasons why we went, we created a user ma signed managed identity in the beginning of this video. Then we came over here and we, we ended up pulling that identity and adding it to and associating it with the Logic app. But if we were to use a system assigned managed identity, we wouldn't have to do that because the system assigned managed identity, the system, Azure already says, okay, I have a Logic App, I'm gonna automatically create an identity associated with this Logic App, and that identity now can just sit there and do nothing because it's waiting, because it only has a one-to-one -one relationship with the Logic App. That would be a system assigned. But the user assigned now, I if I have three Logic Apps, I can now take this same shared Logic App managed identity and associate it with three two other uh, logic apps as well. That way, what that would do is, I would have it tied to three different logic apps and that managed identity would now be serving uh, a purpose of for three services instead of being the system assigned. So um, I know I said identity and logic app a lot, uh, but that is how that would work. And then you would go over to your key vault, like how we have it here, and then you would be able to see the role assignments that are associated with your key vault. And if I look through here and I just type in logic, I can see my shared logic app and that's the, the, the role I gave it, which a key vault secrets user. So that's how managed identities work. Um, it definitely helps you in terms of making sure that your Entra um, directory is a bit cleaner um, and that you don't have to go ahead and you know do a whole AD cleanup. And I, I've been through a bunch of those and they're not fun. So um, that's pretty much it for user assigned and system assigned managed identities. On uh, the next video, we're gonna be talking about blueprints where I will show you how to create and set up a blueprint, but we also uh, has a bit of detail in there when it comes to managed identities. So the more that you use managed identities, the more that it will start to make a little bit more sense if it's not right now, but I wanted to show you how to set it up from a user perspective and then also from a system managed identity perspective and you know we have more subsequent videos that will have some uh, reference to manage identities as well so if you don't get it fully in this pass trust me as you see other videos it will start to make a little bit more sense and how that's used in the whole azure ecosystem so i want to thank you all for watching this video uh once again my name is kieran tross if you haven't done so already please smash that like and subscribe button uh definitely helps me out um, here at Cloud Scholars, my goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and, of course, consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.